Let's do a get ready with me where I go from this to this. Hi, I'm Glory B and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing and age gracefully. So let's just get right to it. And let's start with no makeup on. So I'm gonna start out with my under eye corrector from Pixie. I've just got a little bit left in this pot and I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush to just get that into that dark spot under the eye and even into the inner corner. And I can take a little bit that's left over on the brush and just go over some spots. I don't, a lot of mine are fading just due to my um, skincare regimen and um, yeah, they're not looking as pronounced. And I was a freckle faced kid. So I always joked with my mom that um, someday when I got freckles on my hands that were bigger <laughs> age spots that I would um, just call them freckles because they just kind of blend in. Well, that's not true on my hands. <laughs> Maybe I should start using my skincare on my hands. I wash my hands so many times during the day though that I wonder how much of it would actually absorb. I was at Nordstrom yesterday and at the Charlotte Tilbury counter, they, um, the woman who was helping me gave me a couple samples of this Hollywood Flawless Filter. She, um, she had uh, much darker skin and she said she wears it under her foundation and she uses one of the color tones that's a little lighter than her skin tone and it just gives a really nice glow under her foundation. So I'm going to try, I'm kind of torn between the first two colors, the one fair pale that they have here. They didn't give me the number two, but they gave me the number three light medium. I'll try the fair and let's see what happens. So it ends up coming off. Oh yeah, that's really light. I'm just going to go like that. There's only a little bit of product here. Maybe that's why she gave me two because there isn't much. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it a little bit on my forehead. Oh yeah, it is glowy. So this one's really light. Number one. And I chose a foundation. I didn't want to use a foundation today that's, um, since I'm trying this product out, I didn't want to use a foundation that's um, really full coverage. Like one of my new favorites, Pure, that's really full coverage. So I pulled off my shelf the Clinique Even Better. And this I would say is medium to full coverage. So yeah, that is giving me kind of a glow. So that's really interesting. And on another day, I'll try the darker color that came with it. So with um, even better, I'm just going to dot it on. This is in the color breeze. My face is kind of cool tone, but my neck and the rest of me, especially in the summer, is more neutral. So I'm, I like to pat this into that eye area that I just did. And I'm going with a light touch today. And then I'm going to use a brush. I'm using a flat brush to blur and buff. I'm also using daylight today. I have one light over on your left, my right, just because that looked a little dark, but my windows are wide, but they're not high and long. So it's hard for me to get a really good daylight 
but I like how it looks with the camera. All right, so I'm going to get another mirror and see how I like how that looks. So I'm getting a little bit of glow from that Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, I don't want too much glow on my chin because then it looks like I dribbled something. I don't want too much glow on my nose. But on the cheek areas, yeah, as long as I don't have a lot of lines. So now I have been using, and I, I know in my earlier videos on my channel, I don't use a concealer on top because I like the look <laughs> with just the color of my foundation. But I have been experimenting more, so I'm going to use the Tarte Ultra Creamy um, face tape and just dot a little bit under here. And this is where I use a very slightly damp beauty blender. In fact, it's often too wet for me, even though I wet it, I squeeze it out, I roll it in a towel. So what I do, of course I clean it in the morning after using it, and it's still kind of damp 24 hours later. I recently bought the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Little Sponge, and I love this thing. So I'm just going to tap it in. It is very slightly damp. And with a little bit that's on the sponge, I put a little tiny bit on my lid and that acts as a little bit of a primer, even though I don't really need primer that much. Now before I set that, I'm going to do two more products. I'm going to use the Anastasia contouring stick and just do a little bit of contouring. This is in the color mink. So it's not that orangey brown, it's more of a taupey brown. And I guess I'll do my nose a little bit, buff that out. It's a summer day, so I don't want to be too contoury looking, but I'm doing these jaw areas down here, a little bit under the lip. And then I'm going to go in with a highlighter that's not shimmery, and I'm using my <laughs> almost gone Emlyn under eye corrector, but it's great as a highlighter. I'm just going to put it on either side of my nose here. and buff that out. Now I'm going to set the under eye with this fabulous method. I'm going to use a setting spray. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I'm just going to spray the back of my hand. and tap that in a little bit with my ring finger until it almost feels dry. Then on top of that, I'm going to use a translucent finishing powder. I'm using the one by NYX. I'm just gonna swirl a brush in there. That's almost getting close to being lots of pan and tap that in. And that gives a really nice finish. Now I'm ready for a little bit of powder. I'm not big on powder at the age of 61. So I'm going in with a Rimmel powder and a big fluffy, fluffy brush. I tend to look more shiny on the nose and chin in videos. So I'll keep that in mind. Now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer in the lightest shade. Um, I don't like how they made this. I wish they made it smaller. And of course, this broke. But it does give a really nice 
glow and I'm just going to do a little bit Now I'm ready for some blush. I'm going to use the Milani and the Dolce Pink. This is a baked blush. And um, you can see I'm wearing a bright pink top. I'm going to the farmer's market. After this, we actually have a French market. So it's more than just food. It's kind of fun. I bring the dog and I'm wearing a skirt that I got years ago that's Lily Pulitzer. I love that store. I should probably live in Florida and wear Lily Pulitzer all the time. And then last, you know, just depending, I might just give it one more buff. All right, that's face. Now we're on to eyes. Now, interestingly, I um, signed up for Good Housekeeping's, I guess you could call it testers. So sometimes they send me an email and if I answer it and fill out the survey quick enough, then I can be chosen as one of the people to test something. So recently they had a survey where they were possibly going to be sending me either a mascara or an eyeliner, either a waterproof eyeliner or non-waterproof or even a pencil eyeliner. So they chose to send me a waterproof eyeliner, which I usually don't wear. And um, they cover it with tape so you can't see it. So it still has the E5 and they asked me to use it three times and then go online and fill out the survey. And then when they shipped it to me, they also sent me what questions in paper in the box. So I know what questions they were going to ask me about it. So I was really impressed with this. Of course, I don't know how long it's going to last, but for the price, it's a really nice um, eyeliner so this one it's called wet and wild break up proof waterproof liquid eyeliner and the ultra black and i need two hands but when i film i only have one hand it's fairly easy to apply without making a mistake that's what i liked about it too you can get a nice thick line see Pretty close to the waterline. I have really sensitive eyes and allergies. Well, some allergies. So I'm one of those people who can only get so close to the eye. Okay, see how easy that was? I, I mean, I got a little something over here. I'm not going to do a wing just because I, I don't feel like it. All right, now while that sets... I'm going to do my brows and I'll be right back. The next thing I'm going to do is soften the hard line of the eyeliner. On me, I don't like that harsh line. I like it on other people, but I don't like it on me. So, and I'm going to do a little lighting uh, using eyeshadow on the under eye. So I'm using something that's new to me. I just bought this yesterday. It's the Found brand eyeshadow palette and the one called Bloom. So I, this one has more shimmer than I hoped. Um, I think it only has four matte out of the 12 shades, but I'm going to, let's see. Look at these two colors. Okay. I'm going to use this one. I wonder if it has a color. It's called Iris. The one in the lower right is called Raven. That might be a little too dark. So I'm going to use my little tiny brush and just go over this line just to soften it. And with what's left on here, on the brush, I'm going to go under here. All right, and let's do it again. Oh, 
it's kind of light under my eyes, but I can build it up later if I want. Okay, so now I'm going to apply. My camera decided to turn itself off and I didn't notice until I had all my eyeshadow on and part of the mascara. So now I'm gonna put, the <laughs> I just took all the eyeshadow off. I don't know why it's doing that. It's Canon. It's not the battery. I have a battery that plugs in. All right. <laughs> so I just removed as much eyeshadow as I can. And I'm using this palette that's new to me. It's called Found Eyeshadow Palette. It's in the color set called Blush. But it has a lot of shimmer. And I was hoping this color in the upper left upper right would be a matte but it's not it's got some shimmer in it so it doesn't have a light matte except for the pink and I don't do pink so what I'm going to do is go to my trusty Z palette and I'm going to use this Anastasia color in fresh I just put all my brushes away oh my gosh I tell you, the life of being, all right, I'm just gonna do a base with that color called Fresh all over. I like a light color, Matte Anastasia has some really nice individual shades and a lot of mattes that you can put in a Z palette. It's very, very nice. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to go to this and the only mattes are this light pink, lilac and iris. So I just done the iris to line. So what I want to do is show you, I'm going to actually swatch this lighter pink that I'm going to use as a transition shade and next to the iris. And I want you to see that up close. You can get an idea of what those look like. And I'm going to use this brush with that lighter color and we'll use that as a transition shade. And I'm just going in that transition area and up a little bit in the corner. This should be familiar to me because I just did this. Okay, and I'll blend that out. Okay, looking at my monitor. Now what I'm going to do is use a couple different brushes to use the iris. Yep, the darker one. I'm going to use a brush that's kind of pointed and Dip that in there, get some of it off. And I'm gonna be very careful because dark on me now at this age isn't a great look. And I'm just gonna go around that outer corner, kind of the outer V, but without going overboard. It's too much dark can just make me look old at this age. Older. <laughs> All right. So let's see how that looks. Looking at my monitor just to get an idea of what you're looking at. And then just to get a little more in that outer corner, I'm going to use my little tiny my little tiny angle brush and dip that in there and just go into the corner here a little more and do a little bit more without going crazy and just build it up just to get a little more mystery color and look in my mirror and look in my monitor. Okay, I like how that's looking. And blend that out a little bit. 
Now I have some choices on the mobile lid. I'm going to put one of the shimmers. Now this has a lot of shimmer. Um, in this upper right corner, it's more yellow. The second one here, top left, is more neutral. This one's more pink down here. This one's more beige. So I'll swatch it and we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to do yellow and then the neutral and then the pink and the beige. Let's do a little more. Yellow, neutral, pink, beige. And I'm going to hold that up to you. And it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, some of these shimmers are so similar to one another. So what I'm going to do is two colors of shimmer. You see that, that pink one on the outer mobile lid, this pink. So I'll just tap that in here the outer mobile lid, not quite to the center. And then that one that was in the top left, that's a little more neutral, this one here, I'm going to use. And tap that in. Oh, I just got out of my mirror. Okay. <laughs> With mascara on. All right, so now I'm going to blend some of that out. The camera's still on, the monitor says. So that's good. I'm going to go over some of that creamy again. All right, let's see how I like this. <clears throat> I have another brush here that I like to use to get some of that. I don't like how the mascara looks now, but that's too bad. That's how it rolls. And uh, so this is where I was putting on the mascara and I was using the Benefit Roller Lash on the top. On the bottom lashes, I use Maybelline full and soft because it's just easy to use without making a mistake. So now we're on to lips and I am late to the party with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It can pull a little bit brown on me. So the woman who was helping me, she said, you know, put a little gloss on top, something that pulls a little more pink or put a little more blush on. That's why I went with the pink blush today. So I'm using the Pixie Lip Icing in Cookie. So yeah, a pretty look. I'm going to do my hair and I'll be right back. So that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these products applied to a 61-year-old face. And that's how I roll on a Saturday morning. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my other videos by tapping its image on the right side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.